Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So let's um let's get a little update up. Pretty much, there's going to be a few things that are going to be transpiring this afternoon. One of those is CZ Binance is doing a AMA. Now he's doing this on Twitter Spaces in around two hours, so that's two p.m. UTC. Um, for me, I think that's around one o'clock. No, two o'clock. Probably two, half two, maybe three. I need to check, but either way, you'll get the notification to say that I'm going live at this time and it's all set up. So he's going to take 10 questions live, no pre ask needed, hence no comments. See you soon. Simple and quick format. So you obviously know what questions I'm going to ask. A, who moved one trillion coins out of your hot wallet during the capitulation event? Two, who is the holder of the 2.6 trillion, which is really important that we find out whose holdings these are so we can nail it, put a pin in it, and just go, right, this is what it is. And then my third question is, what do you not understand about the 1.2% burn tax? And are we able to put you in contact with anyone? Now, them doing this is really interesting because it's their fifth year birthday or anniversary, whatever you want to call it, is coming up. I think it's tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or today, but I'm sure it is tomorrow. And they've been doing a competition where you can draw a hat on CZ Binance and things like this. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting. Hopefully we get an opportunity to ask a question in this AMA. I know there's going to be millions of people that, is, that are going to join it. I have no doubt with CZ being as um, popular as he is. So um, a little bit less of CZ and let's jump over to the chart for USTC. And as you can see, we're still up 691%, which is, um, it's really good, especially if you held a bag down here, so to speak, and you held it all the way there. So you caught it at that tippy top and you sold, you are absolutely quids in. That is a monumental run. 1,527% is serious, serious um, gains in my opinion, uh, even if you've Got a hundred pound down, so to speak. Sorry about the plane going over, folks. It's um, it's another one of those really humid uh, days here in the UK. So um, like I said, it's up around six hundred and if we take it to there, it's six hundred ninety-one percent. Let's call it six hundred ninety percent to stay safe. Um, it's still up a considerable amount. And like I've been saying to everybody from the start, we don't actually know what carried any of these pumps. So the issue being with it is is. Because we don't know what caused it, we're unable to ma maintain what has been doing it. So in theory, the price has to come back down because we don't know what did it. And um, we're seeing this at the moment with um, Terra Luna's really struggling, um, really tightening up on the squeeze, so to speak, as you can see. But for what this pumped around that time, it's pretty much lost all of it aside 11%. So... Yeah, it just goes to show. And then if we take ourselves, sorry, my tabs are a little bit messed up. There we go. So you have all of my um, tabs in the exact same muscle memories. Like, right, it's this tab. So yeah, sorry about that. So as you can see here, uh, Luna Classic is about halfway, I would say at a halfway house right now. So if we take that right the way over, not that it makes a difference. 87.16% um, still up. But once again, like I said, we do not know what carried these pumps. So ultimately, we 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 have no idea of how to maintain it, what was carrying it along, and all these kinds of things that go with it. So as to price action in the future for these, um, I don't know. I really don't know as to what is going to unfold and transpire. I'm really interested to see what happens when we get an epoch um, happen so we can actually see the 5% of the USTC supply actually get removed from the circulating supply and total supply. Oh, it has. So there you go. It actually has updated. So once again, not actually seeing anything crazy um, happen from a burn, which a lot of people are going to sit there and go, well, this is absolutely insane. Why has this not affected it yet? And that's because it's come out from the circulating supply but not the total supply, you see. And um, it's very important that the total supply actually registers that it's gone. And that's the whole thing with the 
Now, we all call it a burn wallet, right? If I talk to you folks about it, um, I always call it a burn wallet, right? But if you've watched any of the uh, videos on this burn wallet and us confirming that this is actually a burn wallet, you would know that it's not actually a wallet. It's a protocol. That's what gives it the ability to receive these execution messages and handle the parameter change proposals and things like that because in itself it is a um, protocol wallet. It's designed on every epoch to actually remove coins from circulation. So um, yeah, uber interesting. There's going to be another video going out shortly as to what all of these micro transactions are about. So we won't brush up on that now. We'll leave that for the Lunar Classic Lair Burn channel. And as for the rest of the market, it is attempting a healthy move upwards. As you can see here, Bitcoin making another healthy breakout. And this is what we want to see. We always want to see this because whenever we go straight up, we come straight back down. And that's just the way it is because nothing can, when that happens, the MACD gets overextended. So if you don't know what the MACD is, it's the moving average convergence divergence indicator. And what happens is, so if we go back to here, as you can see, if we get a zoom in, as you can see, the MACD became very overextended, very separated from the um, the stable line. I think that's what it is called. It's the stable or constant line. Um, and it, it pretty much overswings from that. It gets overextended and it has to come back down for a retest because, like I said, nothing can maintain um, a pump that goes directly upwards. So, yeah. Folks, do let me know what you want me to ask CZ Binance in the AMA if I get the opportunity, if there's anything that I did miss, if there's anything that we should specifically target to ask in this AMA. Let me know if you think it's a silly idea of us actually going into this AMA and live streaming it. Let me know if there's anything you want changing. If the microphone's too loud or anything like that, just let me know. I do want to make sure we've got the formats correct for you folks as much as possible. So um, just beware of scammers out there, folks. There's been someone going around sending emails to people and all sorts of crazy stuff, which is so sad to see people doing that. But sadly, that's what people are like. And they want to attempt to scam people as much as possible. You can only DM me on Twitter, folks. Or you can catch me in my own Telegram group. Or I'm in the Terror Rebels Discord group. But I don't really knock about much in there. I just go in and obtain the information that's needed for the community. And bring it back out for you folks to show you. And say this is what is happening inside these walls. So like I said, stay safe out there. Beware of scammers, stop all gangers. Anybody pretending to be me or the Lunar Classic Let Burn channel. And uh, yeah, it's not financial advice. And I will catch you in the next one. Shoo.